Hey, YouTube world. Two idiots in the house coming back at you with another cigar review. This is going to be Cigar in 5, COVID edition, uh, the Cigar of the God Cigar. All right. I just want to give a quick shout out to everybody that's out on the front line uh, currently battling uh, this virus, healthcare workers, uh, grocery store workers, uh, everybody. And I would also like to give a shout out to the people out there that are being safe, that are practicing uh, social distancing so that um, we can get, we can all get through this and uh, uh, hopefully we can get past this as soon as possible. So as everybody knows, right, we're social distancing. We're doing the same thing. We originally tried to shoot this video outside, but due to the wind and uh, the sun and different things, it made the video quality awful. So we're going to do this from inside the garage again. So here we are back here and we're going to do cigars in five. So get ready in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so I've been going to uh, this local uh, cigar shop for a while now. I highly recommend it to anybody uh, in the Middletown, Cromwell, or in uh, the Middlesex uh, County area. Uh, it's called Up in Smokes Fine Cigars. Uh, great selection, great variety. Uh, they have all the brand names as well as they make their own cigars in-house. And I'm going to talk to you today about one of those, which is called Cigar of the Gods. Okay, and it's recently become... Uh, one of my favorites. Okay, so if we look at Cigar of the Gods, it is a lighter cigar. Okay, I'm going to highlight some of the important um, kind of characteristics of, of what it is. Um, I highly recommend this to uh, uh, newer or beginning uh, cigar smokers um, because it has a sweet uh, and it's mild to medium taste. Uh, it has a Connecticut shade wrapper and it also has uh, a Nicaraguan and Honduran uh, bind. So going into um, Up and Smoke Fine Cigar, so it is a local shop. They are still open during COVID-19, right? Um, they do have to modify um, the way they're selling cigars, obviously. So they do have curbside pickup available. You guys will we'll attach a, a description um, below and we'll show you guys the link. Um, so that way you guys can take a look at them for yourselves. They're a great place. They're our go-to place. I know a lot of people in the Middlesex area, there's not a ton of places to go get cigars. So whenever we're looking at each other and it's Saturday and we have no idea where we're going to go get our next cigar, this is a place we go to. The guys there are great. They'll help you out. They'll answer any questions that you guys have. Um, and during this time, everyone's focused on shopping local, right? A lot of the small businesses are the ones that are struggling and they're having issues during these times. So I know we could buy stuff online you get stuff shipped to your house, but this is a great place um, to kind of keep going. Absolutely. Um, you can go buy one stick, you go buy a whole box if you want to. We stocked up at the very beginning because we knew this might be kind of a longer period. Um, and just to kind of minimize the amount that we go and have to interact with them, we thought it was best just to kind of stock up in one shot. So that's exactly what we did and we recommend you guys do something similar if you guys are worried about going out. Um, just stock up now um, and then you have some for the future too. Absolutely. Couldn't agree uh, anymore. Um, so I tried one originally a couple weeks back. And I decided to uh, get a box of 20. Like you said, we, uh, we had stocked up. So uh, we're, we're going to take you uh, and we're going to show you a little bit about the cigar. Okay, so uh, as before, when we were lighting up with a grill lighter, now we're getting a little bit more uh, sophisticated. I have a butane lighter uh, with a built-in punch, and that's what we're going to use instead of the cutter. Uh, different people have different uh, preferences. Uh, some people like it cut. Some people like it using uh, the punch better. It all it all de uh, determines on your preference. Um, so this lighter, uh, so you can get you can get a two flame, you can get a three flame, a four four flame. It all depends on your preference. Mine just happens to be a, a two flame. Okay, so we're going to punch this. So I particularly like the punch, as Ant was saying. Um, it does kind of, for newer people, um, and I don't know if anyone else has had this issue, you have, you have a tendency to overcut or you just cut in the wrong spot. Yep. And what you end up happening is the top of the cigar starts to unravel sometimes when you make that cut. So when you're using a punch, um, it really helps reduce that so you don't kind of ruin your own cigar. Um, especially when you go get a box, right? You're not there, they're not cutting it for you. So you do have the possibility of making that mistake. Um, and it kind of helps keep all the little bits and pieces from getting in your mouth, which I never like when I'm smoking, especially when you start getting towards the end of the cigar, you've had it in your mouth for a while. Um, those bits and pieces can be nasty. It can kind of ruin the smoke for you. So I really like the punch. Absolutely. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is uh, we're going to light it up. We're going to get it burning really well. And then uh, we're going to give you guys uh, 
uh, a review of uh, what we think about it, okay? So right off the bat, first thing that I definitely want to focus on here is that the sweet cap. So the first thing, when you, right when you put it to your lips, you can definitely tell this has a sweetened cap, which really does a good job kind of with the smoke. Um, it's kind of more of mild, like Anthony was saying, something for a beginner. Um, it is more of a mild cigar. Um, the smoke is pretty mild as well with that. But then you do get this sweetness behind it, which kind of can make it really good for a first time smoker. Um, just because it does give you like this taste that's not necessarily um, kind of like a delicate. It's kind of in your face. It is sweet. Um, and it's kind of like got a honey feel to me. Just a, just a little uh, taste of honey. Yeah. It's like it, it's sweet, but then like on the back you get a little bit of honey on it, which is kind of nice. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I also want to interject here and uh, just uh, correct something I said uh, a little bit earlier uh, in the video. Um, this is actually a Dominican binder and the Nicaraguan and Honduran aspects of this come with the, the filter leaves. Okay, so basically uh, you have a hint of honey like Chris said. Um, very uh, medium, mild um, taste, very smooth burn. Um, as you can see, my cigar um, greatly lit with uh, my lighter. I highly recommend uh, purchasing one of these. Mm -hmm. And you can find that at uh, up in Smoke Spine Cigar Shop as well. They're pretty even burn too. So right, these are these are made in shops. So these are hand rolled, Correct. right? So Correct. yeah, so you're getting a nice burn on the end of it. You're getting a nice hat on this on your cigar. So really, just generally, first impressions really good. Um, I know you smoked these before, right? So Absolutely. have you seen kind of a consistency within them? Because I mean, I mean, if they're all this good, then definitely a good box cigar. Um, definitely. Um, you know, it's it's always important to keep them uh, very well humidored. Um, so you take them out of uh, the box that you get and uh, get a good uh, humidor. Um, the guys there can always recommend a good humidor. You want to make sure that um, you know they, they stay fresh. Um, but definitely. The consistency with these, every time that I light up, I always get a consistent, uh, good taste, good burn, um, and yeah. Very good cigar. Definitely would go back for more. All right, guys, we're going to wrap this video up. I thank you. I apologize. This video was longer than five minutes. Um, we did talk a little about COVID-19 and everything that was going on um, outside and all around us. But once again, please, guys, stay home if you can. Stay safe, and thank you guys for watching. Absolutely, couldn't agree anymore. And we're also going to leave uh, the link for the website for uh, Up and Smoke Fine Cigars. Um, so give them a, a visit. Um, like I said, uh, they are doing a curbside delivery. You call them up, you tell them what you want. Okay. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions on any particular cigars you want us to review or any other things that you want to see, um, you know, we're right there with you. We're you know we're trying to keep ourselves entertained as well. Um, so if you have any suggestions on what you want to see or you want what you want us to do. Please drop a comment. Thank you.